hello, so good to see you in your nice Sunday clothes. I wore my white skin and I combed my hair. See? Mm hmm. Every Sunday I comb it especially good. I hope you like it. I also got something else because my voice got tired from calling Sister Giddis so much. Just wait a sec. Here we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is a big thing to call Sister Giddis. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Move your body? Yeah. For primary? Yeah. Okay. We're going to start out singing Jesus Wants to You for a Sunbeam. So get up off the couch and stand mm. up. Mm. Get our wiggles out. Mm. Helps our brain going. Here we go. Jesus wants me for a sun Beep. to shine for him each day. In every way, try to please him at home, at school, at play. A sunbeam, a sunbeam, Jesus wants me for a sunbeam, beam. a sunbeam, beam. a sunbeam, I'll be a sunbeam sun for him. Beautiful singing. <laughs> you too, Kermit. Okay, you can go sit down now, Kermit. Okay, thanks, thanks for Sister Goodness. Mother Goodness, your turn. <laughs> So, you guys can be happy and be a sunbeam for Jesus, and that's what gives him joy and us joy, too, is when we can be happy, right? It's a great blessing, agency. We can choose to be happy. Okay, so we're going to review the second article of faith, okay? It starts out with, what's the first part? That's right, we believe. They all start like that. So, we believe that men will be punished for their own sins and not for Adam's and for transgression, I'm gonna take a bite of an apple because that was his transgression or his sin, right? But he should have done it. It was good that he did it. It was part of God's plan. Okay, so do do do. So it jumps up there. Here we go. We believe that men must be punished for their own sins and not for Adam's transgression. One more time. Here we go. We believe that men will be punished for their own sins and not for Adam's transgression and not for Adam's transgression. So that means that we won't be punished for what Adam did. So we have our own agency to be able to have joy and to have freedom to be able to choose um, to be good. And we're not punished for what Adam did. Okay, so a few weeks ago we learned the song Repentance, right? So I, I am sorry is not always easy to say when I know I've been thoughtless and done something wrong. Sound familiar? We learned this a few weeks ago, so today we're going to finish learning it of what we can do of when it's hard to say sorry. Okay, so we'll just review the first part. I am sorry is not always easy to say when I know. When I know I've been thoughtless and done something wrong. Okay, let's do that one more time. I am sorry. I am sorry is not always easy to say. When I know I've been thoughtless and done something wrong. I'll try to repent. That's what we can do. I'll try to repent. Um, to repent, to do better, to pray. So we can do better. I'll try to repent, to do better, to pray. That Heavenly Father will help me be strong. Okay? 
stuff that we can do. We can try to repent and pray. When it's really hard to say, we can ask for Heavenly Father's help. Okay? So we'll start with, I'll try to repent. I'll try to repent, to do better, to pray. Let's do that one more time. Okay? I'll try to repent, to do better, to pray. That Heavenly Father. So who do we pray to? Heavenly Father. That Heavenly Father will help me be strong. So we can pray for help. So when we're scared or we really don't think we have the courage to say I'm sorry, we're kind of embarrassed to say I'm sorry, we can pray to ask for help. And he can literally give us strength and help us with that. Okay, we'll do that second part again. I'll try to repent. I'll try to repent, to do better, to pray. That Heavenly Father will help me be strong. Good, we'll sing the whole thing. You guys learn the whole song, okay? I'm sorry. I am sorry is not always easy to say. When I know I've been thoughtless and done something wrong. What should we do? I'll try to repent. I'll try to repent, to do better, to pray. That Heavenly Father will help me be strong. Good. I love how it says, I'll try to repent to do better. So every day we just want to do a little bit better, a little bit better. And we can through prayer. And that's how we can get uh, Heavenly Father's help. Okay. So, awesome. And come follow me. You guys, uh, we read about being a disciple of Jesus Christ. We read about an awesome prophet, Mormon. He wanted to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. It says in 35, 5, 13, he says this. Let's listen to what he says. Behold, I am a disciple of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I have been called of him to declare his word among his people, that they might have everlasting life. Isn't that awesome? So what did Mormon want to be? He wanted to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. A disciple of Jesus Christ. Can you guys say that with me? Can you guys say, I am a disciple of Jesus Christ? Say that with me. I, I am, am a, a disciple, disciple of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yes, God has called us to be a disciple of his son, Jesus Christ. So what is a disciple? A disciple is a follower of Jesus Christ. So Mormon, he followed Jesus Christ by obeying his commandments and teaching his word. And we can be a disciple of Jesus Christ. How can we follow Jesus Christ? So I want you guys to pause it and talk with your parents. Hey, do you talk with your parents of how you can be a disciple of Jesus Christ? Okay, isn't that awesome that you can choose to be happy and you can choose to be a good example? So one way that I can be a disciple of Jesus Christ is I can, I can follow Jesus, learn of him and learn what he would do um, in different times of the day of how I can be like him. So we're going to close and sing, I'm trying to be like Jesus, okay? So it starts out with, I'm trying to be like Jesus. I'm following in his ways. Okay? I'm trying to love, right? That's what the gospel's about is loving people. I'm trying to love as he did in all that I do and say. In all that we do and say, in everything. Okay? Here we go. I'm trying to be like Jesus. I'm trying to be to make a wrong choice but I try what do we try to do but I try to listen listen to what the music the media I try to listen as a still small voice whispers we'll hear what he whispers in a little sec okay so at times I'm tempted here we go 
Love one another as Jesus loved you, right? Love one another as Jesus loves you. Try to show kindness in all that you do, your whole life, in all that you do, okay? Be gentle and loving in deed and in thought, for these are the things that Jesus taught, okay? Okay, first up high. Here we go. Love one another. Try to show kindness. Try to show kindness in all that you do. Be gentle. Be gentle and loving and lead and in thought. For these are the things Jesus taught. Beautiful. Sing it one more time. Real quick. I'll tell a short little story. When I was on my mission, for a few months, I would always listen to the song by the, what are they called? Tavern, Tabernacle, Tabernacle Temple Choir Square. at Temple Square. I would listen to them sing this song before I prayed, so I would get my mind in the right set, think about what I did wrong, how I can do better. And that's why I love this song, because it helps me to try to do better. And that's all God asks us to do, is to try. So let's sing this song. I'm trying to be like Jesus. I'm trying to be like Jesus, I'm following in His way. I'm trying to love, I'm trying to love as He did. And all that I do, and all that I do and say. At times.